NBA Coach of the Year Monty Williams was near half court high fiving his players as they walked to the bench during a timeout early in the second half. That's the Phoenix Suns he recognizes, Devin Booker efficiently scoring and DeAndre Aiden scoring in the paint, Chris Paul dropping dimes and Phoenix playing more disciplined team defense. Those Suns earned the overall top seed in the playoffs, took the first two games in this Western Conference semifinal and regained control of the best of seven series with Tuesday's dominant 110-80 game 5 victory over the Dallas Mavericks at Footprint Center. Booker scored 28 points, hitting 3 of 7 from 3-point range, and Aiden added 20 points and 9 rebounds before a sellout crowd of 17,071. The Suns will look to close out the series in Thursday's Game 6 in Dallas. If necessary, Game 7 is set for Sunday in Phoenix. Luka Doncic paced the fourth-seeded Mavericks with 28 points. The Suns opened the second half on a 19-4 eruption in building an 18-point lead as Booker and Aiden combined for 17 of those points. Phoenix then closed the third on a 16-6 run. Cam Johnson capped it with a jam to give the Suns an 82-60 advantage. The Suns scored 18 points off 12 Dallas turnovers in the third, this after committing 17 turnovers in games 3-4 in Dallas that led to 55 total points for the Mavs. The Suns not only turned Dallas over, they limited the Mavs to 8 of 32 shooting from 3-point range. This is after Dallas shot 20 of 44 in Sunday's Game 4 win, and Paul finished the night with 10 assists after averaging 5.5 in the first four games of this series. The Suns erased an 8-point deficit to take a 49-46 lead at the break. Booker scored 16 points on 7 of 11 shooting at the half while Mikel Bridges added 10. Doncic led the Mavericks with 18 points at the break. Williams made a couple of moves a day after being named Coach of the Year that worked out for the Suns. He played Landry Shamet instead of Cameron Payne, who scored 2 points total in games 3-4 in Dallas on 1 of 9 shooting, 0 for 4 from 3. 